up into our weekly educational rounds here at Seclair, an integrative holistic psychiatric facility located out in the beautiful country outside of Delmont, Pennsylvania. My name is Jim Ellermeyer, I'm a behavioral health therapist, and today I'm joined by two of my colleagues. On my left would be... Kelsey hook -Leitner. And on my right... Emily Dever. And you two would be... I'm a PA student from Duquesne University, and I'm a physician assistant student from St. Francis University. And for the followers of these uh, podcasts, for the followers of these videos, every week what we try to do is offer uh, a tidbit, some type of uh, activity, some type of intervention that you can incorporate in your life that perhaps would make it just a little bit better. This much would be great. Most people look for this much. We're going to deal with this much. So what we try to do is give you instructions on how to do it, not just tell you to drink cherry juice because it's good for you. So, uh, Kelsey, have you, uh, are you familiar with how monkeys are captured in the wild? Actually, I am. A good friend informed me of how they're captured. Um, so they get a box, and um, there's an opening in the box that's small enough, or big enough, I should say, for the monkey's arm to go through. And they usually put something in the box, such as a banana or some type of treat. So the monkey comes and grabs the banana, but then isn't able to pull their arm out of it. And the monkey refuses to let the banana go, so then they're stuck. So then they're stuck, they're trapped. Mm -hmm. Did you ever feel trapped in your life, Emily? Yeah, sometimes. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. Have you ever looked at what is holding you back? Do you ever look at what's trapping you? So if the, the monkey would desperately like to be free, would he not? He would, yeah. However, what what is he refusing to let go of? The things that he thinks are important. Correct, correct. So for everyone out there, the idea of this coming exercise is to help you label and identify the things that you're holding on to that are keeping you back and holding you in feeling trapped in your life. So we discussed earlier, what are some of the things that people uh, believe in that they have to have in their lives? and that becomes overpowering importance. What would one of those things be, Emily? We mentioned wealth. Yeah, so grab a, would you be grab a stone and put it in your... Okay. Anything else, Kelsey? Power. Power. Cool. What else? Control. Control. You bet. Anything else? Maybe a toxic relationship. Toxic relationships, no relationships. Yeah. And sometimes, sometimes we look at material goods, do we not? Or sometimes we look at our outward appearance, do we not? Mm -hmm. Sure. So those things are pretty important to some people, are they not? They are. Okay. So how about putting your hands in there and grasping this? You can put your hands in equal, can you? You can get into that, right? Yeah. Oh, wow, now grab onto those things. Now, now, do you feel trapped? I do. Can you get your hand out? No. You feel you're trapped in your life. So for everyone out there that's feeling trapped in your life, perhaps you may want to consider what you're holding on to and what's keeping you from escaping and leading and, and entering into a new life. So what would you what would you let go of first, Kelsey? Um power. Okay, let it go. Drop that rock. And what uh, what about you, Emily? Well. Well, let it go. Drop that rock. What, what's next? Outward appearance. Outward appearance. Drop that rock. What's next? Toxic relationships. Toxic relationships. What else? Um, control. Control. Let it go. What's the and is material. it material goods attachment attachment to material goods? Let it go. Can you pull your hands out? Now what are you? Free. Now you're free. You're free to make choices. So my challenge out there to everyone today is to label and identify those stones, those rocks, the things that you're grasping onto that are holding you back and weighing you down. Have you ever been on a trip with a backpack? Yes. Have you ever have mm -hmm. you ever loaded it up with things? Yep. And so maybe some of it you ever taken perhaps more than was necessary? Yep. Things that you thought, well, I may need this someday? Mm-hmm. Okay. And how was that trip? It's not as enjoyable. Right. <laughs> sure. It kind of makes heavy going through life, yeah. doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So if your life is going is heavy going, if you're finding yourself winded, if you're finding yourself unable to get to the places where you'd like to go, perhaps you might want to look in that backpack. See how many stones that you have in there. What do you have in the jar? 
What do you have in the drawer? What can you let go of to make a conscious choice? Remember, one of the prime things that we teach here at Seclair is that people have choices. You don't have to have the have to's, the need to, the must. What I'm suggesting out there is everyone have the ability to make conscious choices and you have that ability inside you. Identify and label that rock. Take a good look at it and choose to drop it. Remove your hand and be free. And as every uh, week what we do is we give a free prescription, fruits, nuts and vegetables, unplug your television and take out fishing. And for a truly mindful experience we suggest that you fish without bait, which would be a lifetime without definitive expectations. And as always, we uh, give a little admonishment to everyone to be kind to themselves and to be kind to another. Namaste until next time. Namaste.